And we are live. Hey guys, this is Rob from Red Beach One Studios in Marshfield, Massachusetts. And this is your weekly, or actually monthly now, uh, bench report from Red Beach One Studios in episode number 26. We are recording today. Uh, it's an overcast and somewhat drizzly weather out there in the Boston area today. And uh, we're just kicking back here today. We're recording this video for you. And uh, we wanted to touch base on a few things and bring everybody up to speed on what's been happening here at the studios uh, since our last episode, number 25. And uh, we're going to cover down on a few things here today and, uh, you know, uh, see where we can go from there. Uh, bringing everybody up to speed. We've been a little bit dormant here at the studios as far as modeling production goes, but uh, uh, we're still... Uh, you know, engaging in the hobby in other ways, and uh, we're about to get back to the hobby bench as of today. Uh, we're we're going to get a little, little bit of bench time in today, depending on how things go. Uh, as you are aware or may not be aware, uh, we are weekend warriors for the hobby bench. Uh, typically, Saturday afternoons and Sundays uh, for a couple hours here at a time, and uh, that's where we are with that. Uh, we're, we're getting back, slowly getting back to the hall, um, hobby bench and trying to get some projects that are either underway or start, start up some new ones. We're going to be covering down on some of that today. And uh, we just wanted to uh, touch base on that real quick before we move on to some other things. Uh, a lot of new things have been happening here at the studios. Uh, one and foremost, uh, we have uh, a little bit of an endorsement coming in from our, our good friends at Gallery Airbrush Studio. Uh, we're on their affiliate program, and uh, <clears throat> they've been supporting us, and they've been sending us some gear and different things. Uh, we've been making some purchases here and there and promoting their advertisements and uh, promo pr promoting some of their uh, videos and how-to questionnaires and all that kind of stuff, and uh, we're quite happy with that. And uh, we're very happy and honored to be working with Gallery Airbrush Studio. Uh, they're well, now one of our official sponsors here at Red Beach One Studios. And uh, we're getting behind them and uh, assisting them in their promotions. And uh, they've been supporting us by giving us some gear and different things. And uh, we're going to cover down on some of that coming up. And uh, that's one of the things we're, what we've been doing here. Uh, one of the things that they had sent us uh, recently is the GT918 uh, dual uh, outlet uh, air compressor. So we're going to be giving that a whirl today and getting that tried out and all that kind of stuff. We've had some had to put in a little bit of an order with their website uh, with some different parts and pieces. We're going to be custom customizing our uh, setup here, um, but we're going to get to that in a few minutes. And uh, <clears throat> one of the things that we've been working with uh, with Gallery is, is that uh, they've recently introduced uh, two new airbrushes to their uh, line of airbrushes, and we have we have all together five of them. And uh, more recently, they've introduced the Premium Edition Mobius. Uh, they had sent us a introductory uh, of the Point uh, Three airbrush Mobius, and uh, we had recently made a purchase on the Point Two. Mobius, which is the for fine line and uh, detail work, which is something that we really do here at Red Beach One Studios uh, with our, some of our modeling projects and the armor world and different things. And uh, the 0 0.2 Mobius is definitely uh, geared towards that as well as the 0.3. And uh, we wanted to cover base on that as well. And uh, we just want to put this one across the screen today and show everybody this. Uh, we had made, made a purchase on this one. Uh, we've gotten a special deal on it. Uh, <clears throat> we're part of their affiliate program, and uh, we got a it was on sale, and uh, we used a promo code that they had set us, and uh, we got a special deal on this. And uh, in return, uh, they sent us the, the GT918 uh, dual outlet compressor, and uh, it will function two separate airbrushes at the same time or, or alternating in between, and uh, we're going to be giving that a try out today and uh, trying out both the Mobius point, point 0.2 and point 0.3 and we're going to be using those particular airbrushes on our upcoming new projects coming up here uh, which we're going to get to in just a little bit um, but that's one of the things we want to cover down on we're very happy to be working together with uh, Gallery Airbrush Studios uh, they've been very helpful to us and again uh, it's the first time 
uh, since Red Beach One Studios has been in existence since we've been doing this, that uh, we actually have a sponsor behind us, and uh, uh, it's helping us grow. It's helping us grow. Uh, we're getting a lot more new followers now, uh, which we're going to get to uh, in a little bit at the end of this video. We're going to cover down on that as well, um, but uh, we're quite happy with that. And uh, I think, you know, next thing we're going to be working into is some of the new, newer things that we got here uh, over the past few weeks. And it's, it's where to start is the big question. Uh, going back uh, now, two weeks ago now, two weeks ago, uh, we had received a care package from uh, our good friend Andy at Andy's Hobby Headquarters. And uh, we have received two new Ryefield model kits. And uh, we got a special deal on that as well. Uh, they had given us a... Uh, heads up, they put out a video that the uh, these two kits were coming out, and uh, we got in on the pre-sale, uh, the pre-order, and got a special deal on it, and uh, we want to cover down on that real quick. Uh, the first of the kits is the SD KFC 234 forward slash 2 Puma. This is an eight-wheel eight German armored car from World War II, and... Uh, this is a great kit. This is one of our favorite German vehicles of this variety, eight-wheeled armored car. Uh, this is an all-new tooling kit. If you guys are familiar, Italeri had it originally, and then Dragon did a series of 234s. Uh, and this is the first new one that's come out uh, next to the Mini Art kit, which is also available. Uh, but we got the Ryefield model kit, and we're going to put that across the screen. And that's a great kit, guys. Get this kit. It is fantastic. Super detailing on this, all in one box. Uh, they do come with a, an upgrade set. Uh, you can purchase that separately with photo etch and some uh, 3D printed parts. And they also have a, a set of 3D printed uh, alternate road wheels for this because the ones that come with this are, are styrene hubs and the, and the, the tires themselves are rubber. Uh, but anyway, the, the rest of the kit is fantastic. We had a good look at this earlier this morning and uh, not quite sure exactly when we're going to get to it uh, when we're actually going to work on it but um, it's definitely an awesome kit we're quite happy with this uh, we have some other things coming down the line in the, with the Puma category and in, in the not too distant future uh, and as far as Das Werk goes and another pre-order that we had made with Andy's Hobby headquarters but we're going to get to that next time next next time for the uh, the June episode which will be number 27 because uh, we haven't got it yet but uh, we're, we're hearing that it's going to be here next month in June, so it will e either be the June episode or the July episode, which will be coming up in the future. Uh, the other Ryefield model kit that we got, now this one is a, is a great kit because it's, it's based upon an already existing fantastic model, uh, Ryefield model Panther G, OSP G, late. Uh, this one comes with optional steel wheels and IR or infrared equipment. Uh, and a few other options. Uh, so this is a great kit with uh, Ryefield models that already done really good Panther G kits uh, going back a few years, uh, starting with their interior kit, if you remember that one with the clear parts and all that. Uh, and then they had released one that was just the Panther G, and then they did one that was uh, the Commander of Befel's Panzer as well. But this one has the steel wheels, it's got the IR equipment, the uh, Falca, uh, infrared searchlights and all that kind of stuff and it comes with a lot of extras including um, the steel, steel rim wheels that were optional towards the end of the war but uh, this is a great kit guys I'm gonna put this one across the screen too and this is the, the P Panther G with steel wheels and uh, some great IR equipment and a bunch of other stuff in that box uh, again fantastic kit we love Panthers here and uh, we're gonna get to that one at some point down the line uh, but we wanted to cover down on that and uh, put that out there. And we're quite impressed with those kits. And Rye, you can't go wrong with Ryefield models. They're uh, one of the top top line kits out there today. Kit, kit manufacturers out there today, and uh, we're definitely impressed with that. And uh, <clears throat> moving forward here with our little show and tell, uh, we have a few other new items we want to get to. Uh, we're going to put talk about these for a few more minutes. Uh, one of the the other companies that we're working towards getting an endorsement towards um, is AK Interactive in Spain. And uh, you guys are familiar with all their different paint products and finishing materials and different things and the all-in-one box sets uh, and different things that they have. That, and their entire line is fantastic. But the 
uh, Ab Tylung 502 oils and the pigments and uh, AK has been a great company to work with. We've been doing business with them for quite some time now. It's probably measuring a uh, decade plus with them uh, going back to the early 2000s or whatnot. Uh, and here we are in 2024. And uh, we're quite impressed with them. We order, order directly nine times out of ten. We have a good working relationship with them. Uh, they s send us monthly uh, updates and uh, new, new release schedules and different things. They have different uh, sales going on and different promo codes and all that sort of stuff. Uh, get on the AK website and set up your account and uh, you get on their rewards program. They have an AK points value system for every euro that you spend, you get a point. Uh, and you can turn that around and get discounts on your orders and probably check out and all that sort of thing. And uh, we've been working behind the scenes here and there with different personnels over there at AK Interactive in Spain. And our, our good friend Rick Lawler, uh, who's the U.S. spokesman for AK. Uh, so uh, he's been helping, helping us along. We've been helping him out by promoting some of the products and some of his how-to videos and uh, video shorts and reels that AK has been putting out lately. And uh, we've been assisting him with promoting some of that stuff along with AK Interactive. Uh, but one of the new things that we got here... Uh, so it's going back like a few weeks ago. We're finally getting to it now uh, because the last time we recorded, these were already in route and they hadn't arrived yet. So, uh, But there again, when we order from AK, we typically order from them once a month. And uh, typically, if we, if we time it right, uh, we can get it from Spain to the United States here at our own doorstep within two to three days. And that's quite impressive with DHL shipping. And you can actually... Uh, virtually uh, track the package and watch it as it comes across the Atlantic Ocean in the air, so to speak. But anyway, uh, AK Interactive has a series of books. It's called the Learning Series. And these are like uh, tutorial guides or guidelines for different product lines and different techniques that they have for different uh, some of their products and different things. But uh, this is their newest one. So it's the Learning Series number 16. And this focuses on... AK's new line of acrylic inks for modeling. And we're going to put this book across the screen right now. And uh, that, that's one of the ones that we got, uh, an AK book for a uh, learning series on the inks. Uh, this was a recommendation from our good friend, again, Rick Lawler. We, uh, he had done a, a book review on this, an on, online book review on this book. And this is a great technical guide on... Uh, the use of the acrylic inks, a lot of different uh, genres of modeling are covered in this book, including uh, some some of Rick Lawler's book uh, work in this book for his uh, fishing trawler that he had done uh, a video for. But anyway, great book, guys. Highly recommended. This one is cost effective, and uh, it will teach you all you need to know about uh, the history of inks in modeling, and uh, more specifically, how to use the AK inks, which we do have here at the studio studio, so we're, we're going to be using those on some upcoming projects as well. So we're going to cover down on that today. This is going to be a long process today, guys. We have a few few things to cover down on here today. We want to get to them all uh, because we haven't been able to. We've been missing it. We've been missing some of our our videos. We've been doing once a month now, and we've had to cut back on some things. And uh, we want to redirect ourselves and. Uh, get ourselves to the bench and not worry so much about, you know, how many followers we have or how many people are not following us, so da, 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 you know, that type of thing. And uh, we, we've got ourselves established to a point now where we're comfortable with it and uh, we can ease back and focus more to uh, our, our attention on being at the bench and covering down on actually modeling and getting some uh, work in progress photos up there and I think that's going to be the next phase for Red Beach One Studios is going to be seeing more of our work uh, out there and uh, a lot of people have been calling for it they've been asking for it and uh, we want to start pushing some of this stuff especially the AK products and some of the others other manufacturers like Gallery that's out there uh, and some other ones like Tank Raft uh, which we're going to get to in a minute here uh, and we're going to get Get, get some of this stuff out there, use some practical application, and get ourselves to the workbench. And uh, even if we don't complete something, at least we'll be working on it and we'll be documenting it as we go along. And uh, I think that's going to get us to the next level, get us some more recognition. And uh, you'll see that, you know, Red Beach One Studios will actually be able to show off a little bit. Because we, we've been around the hobby quite some time. We're, you know, 25 plus 30 years of the hobby, and it's like we don't have a lot to show for it other than... Uh, 
uh, a lot of retail background, a lot of uh, background with marketing and promotions and all that kind of stuff, which is what you see on a lot of our social media. Uh, but anyway, the next thing we want to get to is a, another good thing uh, coming up on the new release from AK Interactive of the uh, um, reformulated, repackaged line of uh, their real colors. Uh, that's a lacquer-based uh, paint that they have, paint lines, and all you guys are familiar with Real Colors, uh, they had put out a whole line of paints, armor, aircraft, uh, and different things, uh, naval stuff, and uh, they've reintroduced uh, new packaging and reformulation of it, uh, which could have an eyedropper for, uh, type jars or, or bottles or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they're going to introduce some new things like some uh, automotive colors. Uh, they're going to expand their aircraft line and uh, a few other things, but uh, one of the things we wanted to get to today is uh, the real colors of the paint, and they also have a two-book series uh, on their real colors. Now, this is based upon the original form formula, but we've been, we've been told that the formula of the actual paint is the same. It's just the packaging, and that they've expanded the line and including new colors and stuff like that. But uh, this particular book is a hardcover book. It's the real colors of World War II, and this covers aircraft. Now, most of you guys know that we're predominantly uh, armor modelers. We do figures, we do diorama, uh, but we're starting to dabble with some World War II aircraft here and there. And uh, not that we're going to jump the jump the fence or anything like that, but we wanted to get this great reference book. So we're going to put this one across the screen. This is the Real Colors book, hardcover edition. Uh, it's a limited edition. We ended, ended up grabbing one of these on a book sale that AK had about a month ago, and we're finally getting to it now. But this is about World War II aircraft, guys. World War II aircraft, and it covers down on German, U.S., British, and Russian aircraft from World War II, and it covers down on everything. This is a an amazing reference book because it has all kinds of photos, all, all kinds of color profiles, it, it goes into some real in-depth material here, uh, and even from an armor modeler's point of view, this, this particular book is equally as good as their armor book on real colors, which we do have as well, uh, but this is new new one to us. We finally got a copy of this. Uh, we're very impressed with this book. Uh, get yourself a copy of it. It's a little pricey, but if they have a sale or something like that or some type of promotional deal, get one. Because th this is one to have. This is one. You, this is like an encyclopedia. It's awesome. So we're very happy with that. The Real Colors of World War II aircraft, and it is a fantastic reference book for us, especially for us dopes who don't build a lot of airplane kits. But anyway, that's where we are with that right now, and uh, we're going to cover down on a couple other big things here today. Now, one of the things that we want to get to today, and this is probably going to be a little bit of a touchy subject to get into. Uh, but we're going to get into it. <clears throat> we're good friends with Mike Rinaldi. We're good friends with Mike. We've been friends with him for a long time. Going back to uh, when he was working with uh, M Military Miniatures in Review and different things. Uh, with Pat Stansel and different things uh, in the modeling world. Mike was a good customer of ours, going back to the days where we had Alpenflage hobbies. We were selling kits and model accessories and all those kind of things uh, on eBay, and we had our own website, and uh, Mike was our, one of our good customers. And then came along <coughs> Rinaldi Studio Press. He decided to uh, put out some books in different publications, and his created his uh, Tank Art series of books, and, and then his SM series of books. And he's been running that up and down, uh, you, know, you know, different things. And we all know that we Mike has been having a little bit of difficulty with his publishing company here and there, uh, bring things up to speed. Going back just a few years during COVID, a lot of things happened, a lot of things shut down. Uh, and Mike was right in the middle of uh, either re-releasing or creating new printed material and whatnot. And, uh, you know, a lot of people got a little disgruntled with that because it was taking too long or something like that. Or people did pre-orders and they weren't receiving their books. Well, let me tell you this. Uh, I know personally that Mike has been working very hard on doing all these things, getting these publications. And if you know Mike well enough or know any modeler that's like him, uh, we're all about attention to detail 
everything's meticulous, everything has got to be just so, and or else it's not worth doing, right? So, uh, anyway, bringing things up to speed, uh, going back probably two years now, uh, Mike's SM series of books. So this is SM number four on the broom bar. So the, the broom bar book has been un under pro progress for quite some time. Uh, we were sent a printer's copy, and then we have received our official uh, copy of SM4. So it, it is, is, it does exist. We have it. We have, in fact, one of each copies, uh, and it's now going to be available uh, in the U.S. And for everyone that's pre-ordered it, uh, all of the stock is becoming available. And uh, everyone that's pre-ordered it, they have top priority, and they're going to be getting their books first, even before it's made public, so that you, you can go in and order the book if you didn't pre-order it. So here we are. This is SM4. This is the official copy. This is Mike Rinaldi's SM4 Broombar book, and this is the official copy. that We have it right in our hands right now. And just so you know, this is the printer sample. This is the printer sample. Printer sample, official copy. We have one of each. And we're quite impressed with this book. This is a fantastic book. Uh, and it showcases Mike's work and all his different techniques. Each chapter of this book has a QR code. So if you scan your phone over it, the QR code will, will take you to a tutorial video in each chapter. And there's 12 different QR codes, 12 different videos, and it covers everything from soup to nuts. And one of the things that Mike did do, and there's some differences here between the printer sample and the actual pr final copy, is that he added new material to it. Okay, He wasn't happy with his, his print, original printer uh, didn't do what he, he, you know, he had asked. He had asked them multiple times and went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It took almost a year, and uh, he was unhappy with them. So he ditched them and went back to his an another printer copy in the Czech Republic, and the finished copy was printed there, and he added in the process, add, added more work and changed things around. And let me tell you guys, this is a fantastic book. And uh, we also want to cover down on a few other things regarding some of his other publications. His Tank Art series is all good to go. Uh, he, he has Tank Art 2 in reprint. That's all been squared away. He's getting another, another round of that. And uh, we want to touch base real quick on the TG series, which is the Technical Guide series. We all know that some of you guys have been waiting a very long time for those as well. Uh, but we can actually assure you that TG01 which is the chipping book, is in progress right now. Now, anyone who's been following Mike Rinaldi on his Patreon page knows this, and he's been putting out all kinds of things, uh, including his Patreons, in his book production of TG01 chipping. In fact, he's completely gone back to zero on that book, and he's completely redoing it to bringing it up to today's standards, including TG01. TG Oh, one uh, QR codes and videos for each each part of that book, and it focuses on chipping, different chipping mediums, whether it's hairspray or chipping fluid or different things like that, salt techniques. And each section of that book is going to have a, a QR code with a video, and it's going to cover aircraft, armor, <clears throat> and sci-fi stuff like uh, Gundam and uh, different things like that, and some construction equipment and different things of that nature. It's going to be a very impressive book, and we can assure you that TG01 chipping is underway. Uh, so we might have to wait a little bit longer, but I can guarantee you this. We're, we're going to be, it's going to be worth the wait, just like this SM4 book. Okay, so uh, just so you know, that, that's where we are with that, and we're definitely supporting Mike. We're definitely re supporting Rinaldi Studio Press. He's been a friend of ours for a long time, and a lot of, a lot of people out there have, have gone the other way, and turn their back on him, but we're not. So, uh, and so we've actually been catching some flack ourselves for doing that. So uh, we're standing our ground, and uh, not to call anybody out or anything, we're not going to throw anybody under the bus because we're above that here at Red Beach One Studios. Rather than join the bandwagon, we're sticking up uh, for our friend, and uh, we're also sticking up for all of our other friends too that might think differently as well. So uh, we're stuck here in the middle. We're neutral Switzerland. Uh, but at the mo same time, that's where we are with that. 
and we just wanted to put that out there and uh, rest assured that Rinaldi Studio Press is back. Mike Rinaldi is back, and uh, you, you might have your own opinions that might be different from us. That's okay. We'll accept that. Uh, but, you know, we're quite happy by getting behind Mike and all his stuff at Rinaldi Studio Press. We're, we love his YouTube channel. We love his, we follow him on Patreon, and we support him there, along with a bunch of other people. And, um, you know, that's where we are for that. All right, guys, we want to cover down on a few other small things here today. Uh, one of our other good pals, a longtime standing friend of ours uh, down in New Jersey. Uh, you guys might know him from Alpine Miniatures. He does resin figures in 35th scale and 16th scale or whatnot. Uh, a good friend of ours for a long time now, uh, Taesung Harms from Alpine Miniatures. He lives down in New Jersey. Everyone knows Alpine Miniatures. Uh, and we're big figure guys here, and we're and Alpine Miniatures figures are, are our go-to brand of figures. Uh, and it's just, be, you know, one reason is because Tae Sung has been a great friend of ours for a long time. We've been doing business with, with him since 2004. So here we are in 2024. Uh, that's 20 years plus. So that's, uh, you know, time marches on. But we have his brand new figure set. Now this is a, 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 a Panzer Crew in winter gear. And the unique feature about this is it's a two-figure set. Uh, you can buy them as a set for two figures, or you can buy them individually. Uh, some great poses here for uh, German Panzer Crew and Winter Gear. Uh, the option here with this one is that they can build. You can build them as uh, Wehrmacht or, or Waffen SS uh, with a simple switch out of different headgear and stuff. So, two figures, four heads, and uh, you can build them as. Wehrmacht or Waffen SS. Uh, great poses here. We're just going to put those across the screen real, real quick. Some great new figures from Tae Sung. These are, are great poses, great sculpting, and uh, they're pretty cool. So we want to give a big shout out to Tae Sung because we have had a lot of great conversations with him over the years. We're looking forward to seeing Tae Sung at ArmorCon this year in, in Southbury, Connecticut. We always get to hang out and have a few beers and a little bit of whiskey too. <laughs> But anyway, that's where we are with that, guys. We've got a couple other things we want to cover down on today before we get to a few uh, more Red Beach One Studios uh, news here and there. Uh, we also want to give a, a little bit of a shout-out to Tank Raft. Tank Raft does a lot of good things for the hobby uh, as far as cutting mats, uh, hobby tools, uh, more recently 3D printed track link sets and different things. Uh, they have some great swag, some different T-shirts and things like that. Uh, but they had recently contacted us that they have uh, some new tools, some new hobby tools. So they've introduced a set of, or you can buy these individually as well, uh, but we chose to buy the set on this because we wanted one of each. Uh, but they're titanium uh, precision tweezers. Okay, you've seen some of the other guys out there with these. Our good, good buddies over at uh, the Plastic Posse podcast have been uh, promoting these as well. And some of the other guys, like uh, Rob Riviezo from the uh, Modeling Insanity podcast, has been is going to be doing a great review. It's coming up in a magazine, uh, modeling magazine, coming up real soon. But anyway, we got them. We got one of each, and uh, we got they come in the plastic tubing. We don't want to get these out because they're kind of sharp, and <laughs> if we damage them, we're out thirty or forty dollars. But we got a good deal on these. It's well worth it. Uh, yes, they are a little bit on the expensive side, but with the right thing. Uh, you can get a promo code from them and uh, buy them and get free shipping on all orders over $70 with Tank Raft. Whether you get their cutting mats, their tools, free shipping in the United States over all orders over $70. Uh, so between this and we also got a hobby knife, a titanium hobby knife, right? There it is. Uh, it's got the roll stop. It's got uh, five different blades. It's, you got an extra roll stop and then there's a couple little O-rings here. And there's a, a, a cap with a... Uh, a clip ring so you can hang it on your tool hanger or whatever uh, but the roll stop will prevent this uh, hobby knife from rolling off your hobby bench and stabbing you a foot which actually has happened to us <laughs> anyway that was painful but uh, high qual quality tools from tank raft we wanted to give them a little bit of a shout out because we put it in order with them to get give them a little bit of support and uh, we started promoting some of their stuff too so uh, we want to cover down on that today 
And I think that pretty much wraps up all of, all of our new stuff here, other than the stuff from Gallery, which we're gonna we're gonna hold off just a little bit and uh, get to that next time. But uh, that's where we are with that today, guys. Uh, we want to hit the hobby bench today. Uh, we've only got a few more hours left uh, before lo localized restrictions kick in, and we're not able to work on any model stuff. But we want to cover down on some of this stuff today because we wanted to play a little bit of catch up. Um, but the last thing is, is that we want to cover down on where you can find Red Beach One Studios because we always want to include that. Red Beach One Studios can be found on Telegram. Okay, Telegram is a social media app which you need the app for and you need to download the app, create a user profile and then come find Red Beach One Studios. Uh, we have a good following over there and that's our main base of operations. We do a daily blog, we do daily content, weekly content and uh, we help promote all different sorts of things like different product lines, uh, new kit releases, Intel drops for new kits, announcements. Uh, we get behind people like Rick Lawler and his propaganda channel or Mike Rinaldi and his Rinaldi Studio Press uh, channel uh, and Patreon pages and uh, we cover down on things like Gallery Airbrush, AK products, Tankraft products, uh, again new kit releases, uh, things that might be on our bench. We have our own content over there. Uh, we have discussions each day. We do polls, uh, all sorts of things on Telegram. Uh, we have a chat group on Telegram and that's attached to it and you can either sign up for that individually or you can access it through the actual channel. But come find us on Telegram. We're trying to ramp up our, our uh, following over there. A uh, great bunch of people have, uh, you know, Made, made the jump and come over to us, us on Telegram, so we want to get some more people over there. You can find Red Beach One Studios on Instagram. Instagram has become a great marketing tool and promotional item for us. Uh, we've got almost 400 followers over there on Instagram, and it's for us, it's been really great. It's been a lot of fun over there, uh, and over the last year and a half, we've used that uh, as a great marketing strategy, and it's helped build build us back to where we are here today and uh, definitely check out Red Beach One Studios on Instagram. Red, Red Beach One Studios can also be found on Spacebook. <laughs> we love Spacebook, right? Uh, but anyway, and that's why we call it that. But uh, one of the big things we want to give a shout out to everyone uh, that's a follower of our Spacebook page for Red Beach One Studios and any of our groups that we have. Uh, we have several different groups. But our Spacebook page for Red Beach One Studios this week has crested and it's still moving up 500 followers. Now that might not seem like a, a lot to a lot of you who have a thousand or three thousand plus or three thousand K followers, but 500 followers for us, that's a milestone. So uh, our next level or next uh, station of uh, port of entry is going to be a thousand followers. We'd love to get to a thousand followers, but we're not going to get there without putting up some of our work and displaying some of our act, actual bench time here. So I think that's going to be our next goal that we can set here at Red Beach One Studios, and we're going to get there. Uh, so it's, it's motivated us to try harder and, and get things going, even though we're still using the M1944 Marine Corps issue video recording devices along with the bullet hole pew, right there and uh, the skylight up there. And all kind of street noise, including sirens and, uh, you know, different things and people riding by with motorcycles and stuff. But uh, we live close to the city, so you're going to get that. But anyway, uh, you can find Red Peach One Studios, obviously, on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, and we'd love to have you guys subscribe to our channel and be sure to like our videos or comment on our videos and be sure to hit that little notification bell icon so you can receive notifications of when we... Put up new material and uh, we're going to try to get out one one video per month like this this is the red beach one studios bench report this will be episode number 26 so we have 25 other episodes plus we have a few other intro videos that we had done early on that aren't really the greatest uh, but we put them up there for nostalgic reasons and you guys can check all that out and uh, you can also find red beach one studios and several other different pr uh, social media pr um, platforms as well, including Threads, which is an offshoot of Instagram. We are now on X. Red Beach One Studios is on X. We're hanging out with Elon Musk and his crazy <laughs> craziness over there with SpaceX and all and Starlink and all that kind of stuff. 
but uh, we don't have a lot of content over there yet. We haven't quite explored that one as much, but uh, we will. And you can also find Red Beach One Studios on Pinterest, uh, which incidentally isn't necessarily a uh, social media outlet, but it's a more of a uh, search engine type of thing. We do a lot of research over there with photographs, and we put up, we're going to be utilizing Pinterest to put up some photographs of our work and stuff like that moving forward. So you're going to see some of our artwork over there. Uh, but we're on Pinterest, and uh, you know we know a couple other good followers over there, um, people that use Pinterest, like Martin Kovac, Uncle Night Shift. He's become a great friend of ours. We have great conversations with Martin, and we support him as well with Night Shift videos, and uh, we're on his Patreon. We support him that way. Um, but we wanted to cover down on that. And one more last shout out because we know this is an extended video today. Uh, but we want to give a big shout out to shout out to Stuart over at the Black Hat Scale Models. Uh, Stuart is in Australia, and he's doing some great new material out there. He's got a YouTube channel. He's on Patreon now, and he's on other social media outlets like like Facebook, like we are. Uh, but check out Black Hat Scale Models. Definitely. Uh, some great stuff there. We've been putting up some of his uh, how-to videos and tutorials and that. Uh, be sure to check out Stuart. Uh, he's got some great stuff out there. So we wanted to give a shout out, shout out to him too because he's supporting us in return for doing that. Okay, guys. This is Rob from Red Beach One Studios. We're going to sign off today. We'll be back next month with episode number 27. Uh, and for this particular video, you'll see... It will be end up being a video premiere. So we're recording it now, which is Sunday. It drops on Tuesday night at 2000, which is 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And it will be a video premiere, so it will feature a live chat, so you can chat with us. And sometimes we have celebrities in there, like Rick Lawler and uh, different people that you might be surprised at. So this is Rob from Red Beach One Studios. We're going to sign off today. Enjoy your your hobby bench and happy modeling and let's hit the bench.